Before that, though, firefighters from across the West travelled to London today in the latest round of lobbying by public sector workers. They fear that cuts in government spending will lead to thousands of job losses around the country and mean more fire stations going part-time. After a rally, they lobbied the MPs in Parliament, as our political correspondent Bob Constantine reports. Firefighters are used to dealing with the heat of a blaze, but today they were turning some political heat on the government. They're the latest group of public sector workers to argue that spending cuts will damage their service. Today, Fire Brigade's union members from across the West joined hundreds of others around the country at a rally in Westminster. If, if the settlement's worse than they expect, then they will be looking at um, front line, which will, in effect will have a serious effect on the public because it will mean less firefighters, less fire engines, less fire stations, basically. If you dial 999, you're guaranteed a fire engine to get there ASAP, you know, with the cuts, that will make it more and more difficult for us. They were on days off and between shifts, in uniform and workwear, angry at a pay freeze and bigger pension contributions, anxious over what they say will be job losses and more part-time fire stations. So after the pensioners and the students, today it's the turn of the firefighters, with another big turnout to protest at public spending cuts. And with a potential reduction of 25% in local government spending, they say it's bound to have an impact on firefighters' jobs and a potential impact on public safety as well. But the government says it's committed to ongoing talks, adding, the reduction in funding to fire and rescue services following the spending review is significantly smaller than other areas, and we believe savings are achievable through increased efficiencies. However, it will be up to local fire and rescue authorities to determine how best to maximise savings in consultation with local communities. But firefighters queuing up to lobby MPs said no more savings could be made without affecting the front line. Bob Constantine in Westminster for the West Country Tonight.